Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back and happy Monday. All right, guys. So it looks like we are here on this fine Monday. To be honest with you, there is so much shit hitting the fan over here where I'm at. It's just like one of those things when you have places, you know that things can go wrong and it just makes you want to rip your fucking hair out. And that is where I'm at today. But I'm not letting that fuck up my week, honestly. Like, I feel like I woke up and people were like, you know what? Today, your week is going to be fucked up. And I'm like, no, I fell down the stairs. I literally ate nine stairs, fucked up my leg, my arm, my everything. Then I went and got a breakfast sandwich. I stuck it on the table, went to go get the remote to watch The Real Housewives in New Jersey. Pippa ate the whole entire sandwich. And I was like, "Mm -mm. you're testing me. You're testing me. But guys, we're back to talk about The Real Housewives in New Jersey. So before we do, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, with that, let's jump right in to this. Then get a reality blurb. Teresa Judice opened up about her plans to leave New Jersey and gave an update on her four daughters, Gia, Gabriella, Melania, and Adriana. Teresa and her kids have been a part of the Real Housewives in New Jersey since season one, and the Bravo cameras captured the good times and the bad, including when Teresa went to prison after she and her then-husband, Joe Judice, pleaded guilty to fraud. In an interview with BravoTV.com, Teresa shared that New Jersey is not her forever home. She explained that she hopes that Adriana, her youngest daughter, will attend the University of Miami because Teresa and her husband, Louis, perhaps will want to move there. Hmm. Eventually, I want to move to the warm weather. We are looking at properties now. It's between California and Florida. So we're looking at properties, yeah. So even if we get something new, and then eventually when Adriana is done with high school, maybe then we'll do six months and six months, like six months in Jersey and six months in wherever we pick, either California or Florida. Just warm weather, yes, all around. Yes, that's what I want. But in a 2022 interview for The Shenanigans with Sheena Shea podcast, Teresa first revealed that she hoped to live in LA. I'm putting it out there in the universe. I really believe in that. I'm all about the namaste. In four years, I think I want to move to California. My youngest will go off to college and I'm jealous. I want to be in the warm weather. But in her bravotv.com interview, Teresa also shared an update on her daughters via the at bywig hello drama on Instagram. As her oldest daughter, Gia, who recently graduated from Rutgers University with a criminal justice degree, is moving in with her boyfriend, Christian, Teresa shared her opinion that Gia should live on her own first, though it hasn't happened yet. She also shared that Gia has been amazing, and she's definitely filmed more than one one scene this season. Teresa said that Gabriella is starting a finance internship, which she got through the help of Evan Goldschneider and Jennifer Fessler's husband, Jeff. But Teresa then shared that Melania will be moving to a beautiful three or four bedroom apartment at university. Though she doesn't know what Melania wants to study, Teresa claimed that her 18-year-old daughter wants to be so famous that she can't even sit at a Paris cafe. Her youngest daughter, Adriana, will be the only one left at home and she's still in high school and Teresa believes that she'll miss the other sisters. Yeah. I mean, I believe that. What are you talking about? Of course that's true. Of course you're going to miss the other sisters. But also for Teresa, when Teresa says that she wants to move, I think Teresa's talking about once the kids are gone. And at this point right now with us not really knowing what the future of the Real Housewives of New Jersey holds, I think that this is a a pivotal time, an important time to kind of figure out what do you want to do? Because if it's taken away from her tomorrow, legitimately, I mean, I know she has money and I know that she has options. But the thing is, is when you start making money at the degree that she is making the money that she's making, $2 million plus in like four, five, six months, It's really hard because you acclimate to what you're used to. So it's really hard to go backwards and start trying to readjust to a new income. And a normal income would be anywhere from $65,000 to $200,000. Not $2 million for six months of work. So yes, 
for her, that makes me very, very worried. But now moving on. Thank you again to Reality Blurb. I always appreciate this, but I'm going to end up um, bringing up something really quick. Joe Judice is defending Louis Ruelas, the husband of his ex-wife, Teresa. Now, nearly two years after Louis and Teresa tied the knot in an over-the-top wedding at the Park Chateau Estate in New Jersey, Joe confirmed in an Instagram comment that Louis actually came to him. Yeah. Not just the Real Housewives, the New Jersey stars, now estranged brother Joe Gorga, to request her hand in marriage. Joe shared the news after being met with a comment from a fan on Instagram. When Louis tried being respectful and asked Joe Gorga for Teresa's hand in marriage, I wish he would have asked Juicy Joe instead, seeing how he's the one who took care of her and her parents and children most of their lives, the fan wrote. He made a mistake in business, but it could never touch the man he is. We love you, Juicy, Sh Juicy Joe. Wish you were back on TV. And Joe said he actually did. Yeah. Now, although Louis hasn't always had the best reputation on The Real Housewives in New Jersey, most recently being accused of pissing away Teresa's money by Margaret Josephs, Teresa has insisted that he will be vindicated by the end of season 14. And in the comment section of the Instagram post with the screenshots of Joe's revelation about Louis, fans applauded him as a stand-up guy. Louis is a very genuine guy. You can tell the girls are a blend of Teresa and Joe. And if they didn't care for Louis or think that he was good for their mom, then they would say so. And a beautiful blended family. And Melania finally has her brothers, and that's the brother she always wanted. Love this family, and I always have. Another added, Louis is an absolute gentleman, and we love Joe Judice. Louis is a class act and so protective of Teresa and the girls, and it's clearly very genuine. Teresa has grown so much as a person, and people who don't see that are bizarre to me. Yes, she plays dirty when she has to, but this is definitely a more evolved version of her who has watched the seasons over and again can see that I think he's great for her and the whole family. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I don't think that, listen, I don't think that we know if we're not inside the house. I think it's easy for us to be like, Juicy J, Louis Ruelas, are they good for her? Maybe not. I mean, Louis is questionable because everybody's questioning the shit out of him. And I don't even know what to say at this point. There's 5 million red flags pointing at you. And maybe it's because you're in the public eye. I don't know. But right now, you got a lot of attention on you. And I don't like attention. And then for Juicy J, he had a lot of attention on him. And look what happened. He ended up behind bars. ISIS was on his ass. It, it is what it is. And then Teresa Judice. Also, I think is a phenomenal housewife. She ended up behind bars and that's what it is. So it's not the end of the world. I'm just saying like, if you're talking about credibility, you guys don't really got it. You don't got the credibility and that is okay. But I want to hear what you guys think. I want you guys to pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, then get subscribed. Definitely don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'm trying to think what else we have going on this week. We have some other shit, but I'll keep you guys posted. I love you guys so much. Did I miss anything? Today's Monday. I should be at a fucking beach right now. Yeah, I'm annoyed. But I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.